Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve behind the camera today. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. This is going to be an informational video. We are talking about the Shut F7 Youth Helmet. Players of all ages can experience the most advanced headwear protection in the game with the arrival of the Shut F7 Youth Helmet modeled after the adult version. It's, it's almost like you've read that. Yeah, that's per, that's per shot. Oh, okay. I mean, how, can it, how could it get any better than that, right? Well, duh. So here's the thing. Looking at these helmets, I don't think I could tell the difference between a youth and adult if they were sitting right next to each other, except for a, a couple of really small tells. So we've got the black uh, clip up on the top, the, the uni clip, I call it. It's basically you can just twist the face mask on and off when you're putting it on the helmet and then you bolt on or bolt off the clips on the sides. Would you prefer to buy your helmet with no logo on it or with a whole with a logo on it? Can we still do a, like a poll, Steve? Up I'll, I'll do it right now. Let's do a poll. We'll send that information over to Shut and we'll, because they don't believe me when I tell them we want the logos off the back of the right. helmets. We'll see. Uh, we've got tectonic plates that create a one of a kind 3D movement system. So basically when the plates are getting hit up here, there's a little bit of, uh, there's a, the TPU liner, it's this kind of a rubbery plastic type liner that can help absorb some of the energy from the impact. So they move in all directions for better management of rotational energy and they sit on top of an additional layer of TPU. So we had a front pad made from TPU and it's wrapped in a form fitting liner to make it more comfortable. We've got TPU cushioning on the inside of the helmet that absorbs the impacts across all temperature layers. So what's great about these helmets, I mean, and this is true of all helmets really, but they're tested, in, you know, they put them in freezers yeah. and they take the temperatures down below to what you're gonna experience out on the field and then they put them in ovens. They're not cooking the helmets, they're just increasing the temperatures up. I don't know what the exact temperatures are, but they're testing at the, basically the extremes as well as room temperature or ambient temperature to, so they know that they're not gonna have things that you know, expand or crack or loose. Yeah. Exactly, okay. exactly. Uh, we've got the helmet stabilization system frames, which are the guys here, Steve. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are, those are the external cheek stabilizers, which reinforce the ear flap. The internal cheek stabilizers, they add protection and reinforcement on the inside of that area. And we've got jaw pads made from fireman's leather. Super smooth and comfy. Really comfy, and I think that these come with two sets of pads. Yes. So yes. depending, on, I'm going to be getting to that, but depending on the size of the helmet you get, that's in, that that will change the 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 sizes of the pads. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So we have an inflatable liner uh, to get a more customized fit. We have specifically designed face guards just for the F7. So here's what here's a great thing about this helmet is you've got a whole line of F7 specific face guards or face masks, right? Yeah. They all fit, whether it's a uh, adult or a youth, same face mask. These masks come in carbon steel or titanium. So the helmets that we're selling in order to keep the price point down, we sell them without a face mask. So you can get put on it whatever face mask will fit on this helmet. So you've got all of the carbon steel F7 face masks, which I think we sell for what, 50 bucks? Exactly. And then you've got the titaniums, which are like 150. Mm -hmm. So if you want to kind of save on price a little bit, you're not so much con con concerned about that extra half a pound of weight, go with the carbon steel. Way better bang for the buck, I would say. But half a pound of weight that you can cut off a helmet is significant. Well, it's a good segue. I weighed these, Jay, before we started this, and the way that they're set up right now, that's 4.2 pounds. So it's pretty, pretty 4 .2. light. So if you were to put a titanium mask on here, you're, you'd probably cut that down to about 3.8. Yeah. Is what I'd say, maybe even a little bit less. Yeah, it's depending, pretty light. Depending man. on the style. Mm -hmm. But then in addition to those, the Vengeance face masks fit. Those are available in a carbon steel and a titanium as well. And the extra large Super Pro fat masks will fit. Yeah, so this might be confusing for some people, but the people who know face masks really well, this is a pretty cool feature. The youth are really designed for 14 years. Right, so if you pretty much if you're playing at the high school level, you need to be in an adult helmet. Absolutely. That's kind of where I draw the line, because it's not so much about what you're wearing, it's about what the uh, all of the other players are wearing, plus the speed and the amount of force and energy that they're putting into their hits. Yes. I mean, hell, you could be a freshman in high school. Playing against seniors, man. You're playing against seniors who next year could be playing as freshmen at a power five who's playing with guys who are going to the NFL. 
And then you're going to get, uh, you know, the shut uh, hard cup chin strap. Which I like. Protection-wise, the hard cups are better, but at the same time, I think they should look better. Yeah, that's true. These are MSRP of 279 We are going to be having these on sale here and there, so look out for those sales uh, when they pop up. That is without the face mask, then you're bolting on somewhere between a $50 to $150 face mask, depending on whether or not you're getting carbon steel or titanium. And then if you buy from Green Gridiron, you want a visor, you want to upgrade the chin strap to Sports Star or even a Riddell chin strap, you can put on these. Uh, anything that's in your order, we're just going to automatically put together for you. For free, yes. For no charge. Yep. Yeah. That way when you get it, you pull it out of the box, it's going to be ready to go. We do not put decals on the helmets because people are kind of picky with that. You can put them wherever you want to put them. Um, we just throw those in the box for you. We really appreciate it. Leave comments below, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.